Yabonga Kakulu Mdungwa Uguti Ungmeme Nami Mizoshanganyela Nabazalwan. I'm so enriched. Naltandi is we Kakulu. I am a lover of the word. My Lamato, the Hambe Pamuamela, sang an eight Catulan in Kulumena, sang a clamboela. Naltandis, we the quality and the texture of the message. Naltandis, my Lamato, the Angnigel and Oleng selling Ilang as a lail. A moyen warm ease, Wilgan Kulungul, Elna sang and song and a loot, so woman dot. <laughs> Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. My wife is in New York. She left before me. She left, she, she left on, on Thursday. And I left home on Friday coming here. Yes, she said I must pass her warm greetings to your church. But more especially to Mama of the church and the angel of the house. Amen. Even last year, this time, she went to, 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 to New York. She told me that her wardrobe is depleted. And then she told me the same story even this year. And I said, oh my goodness. Hallelujah. The Bible says we must stay with them with knowledge. <laughs> As a very good addition, do you do hambas? Glory to Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. I thank God for this wonderful opportunity. But church, you will bear with me because the, this was not my time. My time is tomorrow. I'm, I'm entering into big shoes of a man that spoke the word of God in a very powerful way. But because I depend, rely, cleave and cling to the grace of God, I don't fear anything. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see, God loves men. He loves men. The title of my message will be When there's a man to pray There's a God to answer When there's a man to pray There's a God to answer John Wesley once said John Wesley it looks like God doesn't do anything until man prays. And nothing leaves heaven until something leaves the earth. Glory to the name of the Lord. Glory to the name of the Lord. When the praises go up, then the glory will come down. But something has to leave the earth first before the heavens begin to shake. I'll talk about that more tomorrow. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Glory to Jesus in the highest. Amen. God loves men. You see, when God created everything that was created, He spoke the word. 
When God wanted vegetation, he spoke to the ground. And vegetation sprang up. When God wanted marine life, he spoke to the waters. And marine life began to appear. But when God wanted man, he spoke to himself. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah, church. Therefore, if you want to kill vegetation, don't waste your time and your energy to try and chop the tree. Because as long as the tree is still attached to the ground where it came from, the tree will grow again. If you want to kill a tree, detach it from the ground. If you want to kill marine life, do not shoot it with an AK-47. You'll be wasting your ammunition. Just take a fish out of the water where it came from and the fish is dead. If you want to kill man, take man out of God and the man is dead. I don't care who you are. I don't care where you come from. As long as you do not have God, you are dead. You are dead. Can I see the hands? Bless the name of Jesus Christ. Let's go to the word. Before they say someone else has arrived today. They just preach from the Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to the Lamb of God that taketh away the sin of the world. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Genesis chapter 25. Genesis 25. We're reading from verse. Genesis 25, we are reading from verse. I can call you back Genesis. I'm in full age. I mean, I'm a young man. I'm a brood. And when Zagala. Praise the name of the Lord. Genesis 25, we're reading from verse 21 to verse 28. And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife because she was barren. And the Lord was entreated of him and Rebekah, his wife, conceived. And the children struggled together within her. And she said, If it be so, why am I thus? And she went to inquire of the Lord. And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. And the one people shall be stronger than the other. And the elder shall serve the younger. And when a day is to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb. And the first came out red all over like an hairy garment, and they called his name Esau. And after that came his brother out, 
And his hand took hold on Esau's heel, and his name was called Jacob. And Isaac was three score years old when she bare them. And the boys grew, and Esau was a cunning hunter, a man of the field, and Jacob was a plain man dwelling in tents. And Isaac loved Esau because he did eat of his venison, but Rebekah loved Jacob. Amen. Genesis 25, verse 21. Yeah, Baba. Uisara, wam, wam umga Jehovah, wam zuela. Uripeka umga ke wa kulelo. 22. Abantwana ba kubugushana parati wake. Wati. Umagunji. Giseko nangani na. Waya wabuza Jehova. Jehova wati guye. Esi sui nisako kukona izizwe ezimbili. Izi tobo ezimbili za bantu. Zia kwa shugana ezimbili nini zako. Esinye isizwe, siya kwa shula esinye. Omkulu, akonze, omngane. 24. Kwa tise zipelele isugu zake zogbeleta. Pega, kwa kukona ama wele swinsake. Wapu maokala, ebo mvana wonke umzimba. Enje nge nguboyo boya. Baka mbaika malake nguguti uesau. 26. Enva kwa loko wapu maumfo wabo. Isandla sake sasba mbelele estende niska esau. Ika malake labi zwango guti uchagobe. Isaga waine mnyaga enga mashuma isupa egu zalwen guabo. 27. Abafana bakula. Uesau waba yipisi umuntu wasenle. Uchagobe waba yibeka esala ema tendini. 28. Uisara wa mtanda uesau, nguguba waeza inyama yenya mazane yake. Uribeka wa mtanda uchagobe. Amen. Amen. Ya bonga ba. Aga seko nje donga ugelayo, nguti nchuluki sawe hashlo mchako. Amana ngumegele njoku mwenye wana lapeng nati, ui pulu pulu langako. <laughs> angel of the house. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Isaiah 40. You are reading verses 29, 30, and 31. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increaseth strength. Even the youths shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles, they shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Hallelujah. Wonderful. 29. Guye omupa man, omupa oyetileyo amandla. Nagonge na amandla uyandisa izikwepa. Izintizwa ziapela amandla zikatali. Nabasha bawanugua. Kepa aba metemba uchehova, baya tola amandla masha. Baya kupuga ngamapigo njenge zikozi. Bakichime benga katani, bahambe benga peli amandla. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. When there's a man to pray, there's a God to answer. Always. Jalo. 
When there is a man to pray, there is a God to answer. Amen. That is standing on his knees in the place of prayer sees further than the man who's standing on his two feet. Open the apostle. A man who stands on his knees in the place of prayer sees further than the man who is standing on his two feet. That is the reason why Jesus would start every day by prayer. He would go to a solitary place and there he prayed. Why? Because Jesus Jesus wanted to see God first before he could see the people. Jesus wanted to talk to God about the people first before coming to the people and talk to them about God. That was the secret of Jesus. Talking to God first. Getting an instruction from God first. About his people. What to say to his people. Before going to the people and say something about God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to Jesus in the highest. Amen. We have spoken too much about prayer. We have learned so much about prayer. The only thing that we have not done is pray. Hallelujah. There's a man in England he lived in the days where people were challenging God. The man prayed. He said, God, give me people or take me away. Give me people or take me away. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Because the purpose of man on earth is to draw God from heaven to come to earth. Bless the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Bless the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. When we take God from heaven to come on earth, we don't have to struggle about a lot of things that we are struggling with. Glory to the name of the Lord. Because when you take God from heaven and bring him to man, he is the one who knows the problems of man. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The prayer of Jesus says, Give us this day. Give us this day Give us this day our daily bread. <laughs> Give us this day our daily bread. Why did he say give us this day? Why it is Because you cannot win today's battles with yesterday's anointing. 
Yesterday's anointing is scaly and it is thinking. In order to fight today and be victorious, you need your daily bread today. Glory to Jesus. Amen. Glory to Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah, church. Amen. You see the thing that caused David to win a battle. Hey, hey, I, was I, blessed. I was blessed when the man of God when the man of God was dissecting the word. Glory to the name of the Lord. Amen. The thing that caused David to be victorious. It did not happen on the day of the battle. Moment, but it happened way before. Because when Scott. the boys of David's age were busy with the boyish things, David was busy with God. He established a relationship and a rapport with God. To think a sound person on his head can chase after lions and bears. That person must be having some powers that are breaking him. You have to know that you know that you know that the heavens are backing you up. Whatever you want to do, no the heavens are not doing. Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. David saw God in the wilderness. And when he got to the battlefield, he said, what is going on? What is going on here? It's like he was praying and saying, hey, I pray that this man takes this battle away from the physical. And when Goliath said, His gods, the moment he invoked his gods, David said, That is where I wanted you to come. I'm taking this battle away from me. I'm giving this battle to my God. Like the three Hebrew boys. You didn't hear me. Shadrach, Meshach, Meshach, and Abednego. Abednego. <laughs> Glory to the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. When the three Hebrew boys were being threatened be, be, be by fire, because that is the strategy of the devil, the devil works with threats. He works with threats because he knows he doesn't have power. Power belongs to Jesus, he doesn't belong to the devil. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. When the three Hebrew boys um, were being threatened, um, told about the fire that was going to be made seven times, um, better, um, they said to King Nebuchadnezzar, King Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer you on this matter. Because you are a king. We don't argue with kings. Our upbringing is such that we don't argue with kings. King Nebuchadnezzar, we also have a king. We will now allow the two kings to interact at their level. We will see which king is not superior. Glory to the name of the Lord. Jesus. Jesus. 
I know Once men. a matter does say apostolic faith mission. I know men from the apostolic faith mission. I belong to the wisdom group. Yes. Bless the name of the Lord. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. Glory to Jesus in the highest. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. You see, when you know that you know that you know that the heavens have heard my story and the heavens are standing with me, you fear nothing. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Because it is not your ability that is needed. It is not your capabilities that are needed. But once you lean on God, Him alone, He becomes your capability. He becomes your ability. And you can do all things. Glory to the name of the Lord. Glory to the name of the Lord. Are you hearing me, somebody? Are you hearing me, church? Bless the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Now the Bible says, Isaac had a wife by the name of Rebecca. Isn't it? Isn't it? Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Isaac had a wife by the name of Rebecca. But there was a problem. Rebecca was barren. Hallelujah. And Isaac did not accept that. Because it was an error. It is not supposed to be found in the house of the Lord. Glory to Jesus Christ. In the house of the Lord, there should be fruitfulness. Bless the name of Jesus Christ. If the devil happens to raise his ugly head, we have to crush it. And Isaac went to the Lord in prayer. He said, Lord, this error must be corrected. He entreated the Lord and the Lord heard his prayer. Bless the name of Jesus Christ. Church of the living God, there is nothing impossible with the God that we serve. And there is nothing that cannot happen when we pray to God. Absolutely nothing. Thank you, sir. It was in 1999. I was working for Sapi. I knocked off at 6 o'clock in the evening. We had a revival in one village. God had told me to tell the church that we are praying seven days and fasting. And it happened that on the sixth day, I was sitting with the preacher that was preaching in the revivals in one of the villages. My wife was sitting at the back. Hallelujah. My wife was six months pregnant. And then a drunk man. Drunkard. We African people. We speak things that are not heard. When someone is drunk, we say they've ate something. 
a person who has eaten is full. A person who is drunk is a drunkard. A drunkard. He wouldn't take the corner his car was on speed. He wouldn't take the corner his car was on speed. He wouldn't on the move. Crashed my hip. Broke seven ribs. I was in a coma for seven days. I woke up in the hospital. But God when I announced the prayer and fasting to the church, one man asked me, Pastor, when we pray and fast, we set targets. We don't shoot from the hip. We say, God, we are praying for this. So that when God has answered, we will be able to see and give thanks unto God. I said to him, this time around, I am simply carrying out an instruction. God told me to tell the church that we are praying and, praying and fasting for seven days. I don't know why. And on the sixth day, the accident happened. Now, Manji. my wife was hit by the headlamp of the car that hit us. It came through the windscreen. My wife was sitting extreme left. Six months pregnant of a miracle boy. It hit her right here. I'm shy swing. Miracle boy, because when my wife got our first son, and then she fell pregnant, and then she got a stillborn. And then there were complications in her system. The, cer the cervix was completely sealed. The doctors in Eswatini, there is no more Swaziland. We buried Swaziland. Swaziland. The doctors in the kingdom of Eswatini and the doctors in South Africa, they all confirmed that once it is sealed, no man on earth can open it. My wife said, I believe you, doctors. Because doctors treat. She didn't say that. I'm the one who's adding that. Because doctors treat. But God heals. Bless the name of the Lord. Amen. My wife said, I believe you, doctors. And then she went to her house. She closed the door. She opened the Bible. She said, Lord, Rebecca was a woman like me. You heard Rebecca the prayer and you opened her womb. She closed the Bible and she said, God, I thank you that you have opened my womb. Bless the name of Jesus Christ. Me being a pastor, I had already accepted that we will have only one child. On but my wife said, No. Hallelujah. Uh, my wife said, No. She went to God alone. This was on Sunday. Monday. I went to check because we were working for the same company. She was the executive secretary for the chief, for, for the chief engineer. Yes, I went to check on her. I found that she's not feeling well. The second day, it intensified. The third day, her womb opened. 
because she has lost cycle for almost a year yes she used to break and say it took God three days to open my womb my wife is a prayer warrior bless the name of Jesus Christ bless the name of Jesus Christ now my wife is six months pregnant of a miracle child the devil wants to kill the testimony before it comes out when we got to Mbabane clinic and my wife was crying oh my husband the doctors said no 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 don't cry you are the luckiest woman on earth because when an accident of this magnitude happens and there is a pregnant woman on board before the cars collide the baby comes out but your baby is intact. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Amen. On the 25th of December, 1989, my wife gave birth to a bouncing baby boy. He is in Germany now with his wife. <laughs> Amen. Hey, I think I could find them fun. I've heard Nox, I'll walk off very plaguey. Yes, and those ends are plaguey. Bless the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah, church. Amen. The doctors that were working on me were three. Three specialists. Abatatu. For the hip. For the tummy. And for the ribs. The doctor, the lead doctor, who was working on the lead, on the hip. He said, we can't. He said, he said, we, we can't tell what kind of a man you are. Because when you came here, you were dead. All we were preparing to do was to certify you dead. We didn't do anything medical. We don't know how you came back to life. It was the power of prayer. When there is a man to pray, there is a God to answer. Glory to Jesus Christ. Amen. God had the prayer of Rebecca. And Rebecca fell pregnant. Glory to God. But after falling pregnant, there was another problem. There was war inside her stomach. 38. 38. Because into elimaze imishado. Until you go to the school, 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 you go to the of the year, the top of the range. Amen. I 
komunye ofana nomunye ngaye ngezwa ngaye kuthiwa wamthola umfazi but sebe ku honeymoon umfazi wakhipa inwele yasala imbandla umfazi wakhipa ihlo wasala linya wakhipa amazinyo what my do keep him lens? What my father now? I'm the pillar of my mom in Buga. We fully describe, but who should do funa? Yes, sir. Bless the name of Jesus. Now he's going to have fun. Now he's going to have fun. Amen. Hey, hey. Utanda za uyakunkulunkulu uzo kuniki ndo ikele ya ikele leyo. Enye ndo da isu pungwa ya mdu. Imshu paka kuhu. Kanu mfazu wako uti le nyamanta nga mabu. Laba li inye. Watonzi mfubu mfazu. Watu kia shi wakin loku. Ya balik ini dorang kerap pas kompet. Padu mfaz pun malah pas kompet dengan fruk ketang awak nak melihat ini dorang lele lala. Ia min dorang lele kai kamera meluk tinang pun malah pas kompet. Our God has a sense of humor. Corner of Angan Moyen Gakulu, but Hallelujah. I want to watch my sweet as a Sunday and do Hallelujah. I was going to go to a body gorwa gorwa mark to about tenders or baba who told you to spong ele spong ele baba I was just spong ele who just spong ele told you to balog bezo spong ele Amen, Baba. Amen. Kau ramai zin gomeng ngaji sabel ya lindung. Zin gomeng nama mangaji. Uzin gomai itu. Nimi esi pambanuen. Niboga mangai. Umes pambanun cias agak seikas pambanuen. Wabuga agak orang kau mangai. Wabonak ban. Wabonu cias waham bes pambanuen. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Two nations are in thine home. Two manner of people shall be separated from their powers. The one people shall be stronger than the other people. But the elder shall serve the younger. Glory to God. Amen. What's in this one? I'm talking about it. 2009. I'm talking about it. More than 20. I'm talking about it. I'm talking about it. I'm talking about it. 23. Bless the name of the Lord. What am I two nations. I'm two. I'm 30 year old. The 38 year old. And a 23 year old. 
people shall be separated from the powers. The one people shall be stronger than the other. But the elder shall serve the younger. The 38 year old shall bow to the 23 year old. Glory to Jesus. Amen. Glory to Jesus. Amen. Bambu Mama. Rebecca held on this. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. And the boys were born. And Jacob was holding onto the heel of his soul. The name Jacob means a deceiver, a supplanter, a crook, a liar. Because people label other people. It was the description of the people. They did not know that God had already pronounced that the elder shall save the younger. Glory to Jesus Christ in the highest. In the house of the Lord, things don't work the normal way. But things work the God way. But the elder shall serve the younger. When the young man says, a two thirty-eight year old in Manang prison, I'm saying the spot cleaning. It in no general twenty-three la 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 ngone inya usong tata nam sung mixen konsoe. Bless the name of the Lord. But in order for the young man to develop and supersede the old man, he feeds on the way and he feeds on prayer. Glory to God in the highest. He feeds on the word and he feeds on prayer and fasting. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah, church. In the book of Isaiah says, they that wait upon the Lord. Glory to Jesus. Because the things of the Lord are waited for. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Glory to Jesus Christ. When you wait in the place of prayer, things happen to you. Things happen upon you. And things happen on the inside of you. Glory to God in the highest. That they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The fact that their strength has been, has been renewed, you will see by the fact that they shall begin to develop feathers. They shall begin to fly high. As a matter of fact, they don't fly, but they mount. Only birds and chickens fly. And when they fly, they flap their wings. They make a lot of noise. Look at me, I'm flying. But the eagles, they mount. Glory to God. Glory to God. Did you know that you are an eagle? Did you know that you are an eagle? You are not supposed to fly low. You are supposed to fly high. Glory to God in the highest. Hallelujah. And when an eagle sees the wind, when the birds are lying and 
clambering for shelter. The eagle sees an opportunity. It simply opens its wings. And the wind takes it to its next generation, to its next destination. Glory to God in the highest. Hallelujah. Did you know, church? That eagles have two sets of eyes. Did you know, church? That eagles have two sets of eyes. It has the natural eye. And then it has another set of eyes by which it looks at the storm. When the storm is coming from afar, and every bird is running to the hiding place, the eagle changes gears. It closes the natural eyes and it opens the eyes for looking at the storm. Because the storm can damage the natural eyes. And when it opens that another set of eyes, it goes straight to the storm. It doesn't matter how fierce it looks. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory to Jesus Christ. Amen. You know, church, the problem of the church is that we look at things, mama, with the same eyes with the world. The problem of the church we look at things with the same eyes with the world. Whereas, whereas, we have another set of eyes which we should engage in looking at things that are happening around. Glory to God in the highest. The church of the living God is the place where the world is supposed to run to. Because the church should be the one that is providing solutions to the world. It's a big error for the church to run to the government and ask for solutions to the problem. It is the government that should run to the church. Because the church is carrying all the solutions to the problem. The problem is we use the same eyes. Yet we have the spiritual eyes that we should engage in order to look at things. Glory to Jesus Christ. When people see a stumbling block, we should be able to see a stepping stone that we can ride on and go to a higher level. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The eagle does not feed on dead bodies. The eagle is not a vulture. The eagle does not feed on the most on the misfortune of the other birds. But eagles, mama, go to cause choose their own menu. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. We don't eat anything and everything. Some of these things are not really a sin. They are not as But they have a similitude of a sin. Hmm? Hmm? We don't eat anything and everything. Glory to God. Glory to God. 
The eagle chooses what it eats. And it chooses where to eat it. And when the eagle engages on a battle, it has to go up first. Are you hearing me, church? Are you hearing me, church? You cannot engage in a battle. When you are at the same level with the battle, you have to fly high first. Glory to Jesus Christ. And then when you are up there, you will be able to see your target properly and begin to develop strategies of attacking. Glory to God. Eagles like snakes that are dangerous. But eagles know that they cannot fight dangerous no snakes in their terrain. And eagle will come down swiftly and take the snake away from the ground up in this the atmosphere. Church of the living God, you cannot fight the devil on earth and win. Take the body to the atmosphere. Take it to the world of the spirit. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory to Jesus Christ. When you begin to say Rapa Kotari The devil is lost with all his demons because the devil is spiritually dead. Uh, can you hear me? The devil is not spiritual. But he is a spiritual being. Oh, Moya. Can you hear me, church? The devil is not spiritual. But he is a spiritual being. You are more spiritual than the devil once you receive Jesus into your life. Glory to God. Amen. Glory to God. You, you, you speak to God. And you know what? No. When you do that, the devil behaves like an old man who's walking with his granddaughter. The old man who did not go to school. And the granddaughter has been to school. And a boy comes. And proposes. To the girl. In English. In English. Oh. The old man will laugh. <laughs> 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 yes. It's exactly what happens when we are in conversation with our father. The devil wants to know what we are saying, but he cannot hear. What we are Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah, church. He's willing and longing to hear we are tanda, what I'm saying to God and what is God saying back to me. No, utu gulu, utu but he cannot hear God, because he's spiritual dead. Glory to the name of the Lord. Glory to the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah, church. Amen. You see, the things that we ascribe to the devil most of the time, it is not actually the devil, but it is us. It's not Satan. We it's just it doesn't have a mother who will speak for him. Mm. 
Usuka yumfana, osindi si wakolo moe. Oti na imena ngaisheri shami. One blanket with your sister, osindi si wana wakolo moe. Nega kwenye geluto. Mna ngi yangu mchele kuto mna ngi yazo kuto kono kwa kwenye. Adi kwa kwenye galanba. Gidi tina sotenga na spray na manabgen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. The tenga in tina. In a spray na manabkins. Baba kono kwa kama galaba so kuto. Uwa, uwa, uwa. Amen. Hmm. Hau usata ne bagit. Kote ingani kati kolaganga kaba git. Usata uya suge lunch. Eh? Uya suge lunch usata. Amen church. Amen. Amen church. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. When there's a man to pray, there's a God to answer. Glory to God in the highest. Amen. Church of the Living God. We need to engage in the gear of prayer. In closing, we need to engage in the gear of prayer. In order for the young one. In order for the 23 year old. To take control. Over the 38 year old. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because the elder must serve the younger. Glory to the name of the Lord. And when church, we approach the throne of God in prayer, there must be noise that is heard. There must be noise that is heard. Glory to the name of the Lord. Because when people go to the maternity ward, there is a lot of noise that is happening there. The other noise is the noise of pushing. Push! And the other noise is the noise of the people that are arriving on this earth. Glory to the name of the Lord. When we pray to God, we are like people going to the maternity ward. There's a lot of noise that is happening. There's a lot of commotion that is happening. When the prayers go up, the answers are coming down. As the more we push, as the more new things are being passed. Glory to God. When we want to see God doing a new thing in the church, and in the church, in a key of prayer, and push, God will manifest His power in His presence. Glory to God.